What did you say? I said, I'm assuming you heard about Taboo. Yeah, yeah, I sent you that. Yeah. And uh, apparently she's she's playing a character named Sister Francesca, mm. who is described as strong, intelligent, and alluring. Personally, I don't know. There's another person I would have put in that role, maybe ahead of Taboo, but it's just me. Mm. Yogi Babu. True. And this will be the first time Taboo's ever worked in Hollywood. It's true. It's about time. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look that up. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Taboo. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. <gasps> Thank you to your support on Patreon. Follow us on account, subscribe, like button. Today, I got a video. This is from Barut, India. This is inside Kalki's Goa bungalow. Uh, it's just dropped a few days ago. Uh, so she is a dose, in case you don't know. Yes. <laughs> We're best From friends. a long way back. We're best friends with Kalki Kaiklin. It's true. Kalki Kaiklin. Clint Kolke Caitlin. Are we saying that right? Yeah, that's it. Kolke Caitlin. Are we sure? We've yes, we've, we've no. messed up the names I remember, many times. I remember clarifying that when we interviewed her. Mm. Kolke Caitlin. It's a good name. Yeah. Anyways, but uh, apparently she has a Goa bungalow. Wow, rich one percenter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Goa bungalow. That's a fun thing to say. The Goa bungalow with Kolke Caitlin. <laughs> Nice. That's the uh, go bungalow, go bungalow, go bungalow, go bungalow. Excited to see her here. Here we go. Go to the go uh, bungalow. Oh, hi. 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 How are you? Oh, sorry. Come in. Come in. Was she here when we interviewed her? I don't know. We have a table tennis right at the entrance. Are you a player? Here we go. Here we go. Okay, ready? I'm a little nervous. I love a good table tennis. Yeah, me too. She's not a player. She can, she can play, okay? Oh my God, you're doing it without even looking. I hate you. What the hell? <laughs> ha! Ha! I would love to go inside, see more of the house. Yeah. And then I'm gonna come back and finish <laughs> I this. Yes. 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 Hey, we're gonna come to your house and uh, this film. Is <laughs> room. I feel like it's, I live in a church. Oh wow. With all the stained glass windows. Yeah. And That's stuff. unique. Hmm. I mean, it's a basketball court. This is the size of a basketball. For sure, for sure. So is this where you're spending most of your time at home? Uh, yeah, on this sofa. Okay. I usually sit here, read games, mm. uh, you know, movies, whatever. What drew you to want to shift to Goa? Lifestyle, Kitty. especially with a young kid. Mm. You know, when you have a young kid, I feel like you need a little garden, you need space. Mm -hmm. You need outdoor activities, otherwise they get stuck to the screen. She yeah. was already getting stuck to the screen. Mm, gotcha. And I felt like I was at a ready point. It makes sense. <gasps> are you a chess player? I am, I am. Wow, are you really yeah. good? Nice. I mean, maybe better than my TT team. I want to get a nice You're chess a, board. I like chess. Daughter chess. Play chess. And I like chess oh, boards. I think they're cool. She started to understand what are the pieces and what how they move. I have a uh, hmm. cousin um, who's nationally but, ranked. But you know, oh. she's not player. quite wow. got the concentration to play a game yet. I love this this thing. Did you like get it made or? This is again, Stefano, my landlord. Okay. To, wow. He's, a, he's, he's weird a looking. He's a retired surgeon. Hmm. So this table always makes me think of a surgery table. Oh, yeah. yes, you know, with the nice, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Sit down yeah, for yeah, dinner, yeah, yeah. and while we're at it, we'll do a coronary. Body, and we're just the <laughs> no, don't you have a coronary? Oh, yeah. thank God. You don't yeah. do a coronary. Yeah. Also, I love this. It's like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> it's like a diner. This hatchet is I like very that window. useful when Corky. we have lots of people. Corky, Corky, Corky Caitlin. Caitlin. <laughs> is our little kitchen. Mm. I mean, it's just amazing how much space you have in Goa. So tell us a little bit about your diet. What do you? I beg your pardon. What does it look like? Mm. Me and my partner make breakfast. And it can be anything from French toast to uh, muesli to uh, omelets to, a little you know. Little fact, uh, her and on your should be married. Really? Um, yeah. And then wow. lunch is Indian. I don't know that I, anyone knew that, but you at this moment. That's Thank amazing you. news. This is the information Hot here. topic. And Wait, who's Bengali? Like salad her based and partner? like light. So that's so healthy. I love a burger. Yeah. Like I'll get a good burger from Burger Factory in, in Goa. Okay. But I don't like the ones, these like 
fast food ones. Fair enough. I just yeah. Yeah. Most it's most not are not good. Like yeah. we have French fries, we have pasta. Oh, okay. we five guys. Eat all those, like my daughter's favorite food is pasta. The best bolognese. fast food burger okay. you'll get is in So like once a week at least she needs to have her pasta. <laughs> Agree. Right? Fast food You're burger. Very vocal There's about much better burgers. Your, correct. Eco-friendly lifestyle. Yes. And I noticed, right? All the shopping bags, there's no plastic over there. Yeah. That, even the, the very yeah. colorful soaps over there. All the household products, pretty much floor cleaners and laundry. Ashley would be proud. You know, um, <laughs> toilet paper, all of that is like recycled or n natural, non-chemical products. Mm -hmm. What's the origin story? Why did you, you know? Why did I get into it? I think I've, it's just a reminder of what I was anyway doing, growing up with. Hmm. Like I grew up in Oroville where, you know, everybody did take care of their own waste. Mostly, you know, oh, wow. the products were within the community. So you you'd exchange your jams with next door for their okay. pickles. Right. You don't end up having packaging. You don't have, end up having that much waste. Could could I please have a glass of water? Can't yes. Be? I'm so you, oh, thirsty. You must have. Yeah, it's very hot. Yeah. It's very hot. Oh, and can I get you some? I see that. You want some uh, ice in it? Cause yes, yeah, please. And no, you do you want a cup of coffee? Yeah. No, I'm good with my water. I might get myself a cup oh, of coffee. Oh, please. I'll take coffee. coffee. Yeah. So we are going to do a fun little rapid fire okay. while you make your coffee. Stop copying okay. us. We invented, Seriously, we invented we somebody else. Probably a Joni Mitchell song like... Um, we invented copying paradise. rapid fire. Okay. Put up a parking lot. Oh, wow. You know that one? Okay. Nope. Uh, you don't know that song? You don't know that song? <laughs> there it is. There it is. If you could have any superpower, what mm -hmm. would it be? I think being invisible would be a great superpower because mm. you could go anywhere into yeah. anybody's place oh, yeah. and Sneaky find Caitlin. out lots of little <laughs> secrets and run the world. Absolutely. Yeah. Teleport. So what like, would yours be? I would, ooh, no one's ever asked me. I'd like to fly. Oh, really? Just fly about. Fly would be nice. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. all the world oh, problems. Like Look at that. Somewhere. You don't even <gasps> want to like change the monstera. world or anything. Just like chill. Yeah. Just want to be a bird and fly. That's actually, mu that's like very, um, that's next level, I feel. If you say so. If you philosophically, say so. I think Jenny, saving the world is still like, you? You're, what? you're trying to, what? you think that Why? you have the power. Oh, my superpower? It's arrogance, you know? No. Yeah. Whereas I know what it was. When I was a kid, I wanted to fly like Superman. Just, at peace. But mm. the superpower yeah. I'd want is it's healing. Really what can I well say? Done, to be able to yeah. touch somebody <laughs> and they'd be this healed of whatever they have. Tree, Don't ever touch me. Down there, there's some chiku tree. Especially little kids. And a lemon tree. Oh, there's fallen jackfruit. Yeah, yeah. But anybody with an this ailment, you touch them and they're healthy. And have big bonfires and drink blood and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> moon, you know? The other day, there was a tree snake in my house, but those are not very dangerous. They're not poisonous. Yeah, they're not so poisonous. So the snake that came into your house, did a cobra ever come into your house? Um, no, thanks. No, it's very hot. We should we should go back in. Oh, the outside of Goa looks so amazing. We have a segment on our show mm -hmm. where we quiz our guests on Gen Z lingo. Oh damn it! Here we go. <laughs> so it's called OK Boomer. I give up. <laughs> and <laughs> at least try. <laughs> what does Riz mean? Mm -hmm. Charisma. Good job. And what does ghosting mean? When you like stop calling somebody after dating them. Hmm. I think these are more yeah. millennials. Do you have any yeah, advice to yeah. not get ghosted? Don't be an a But oh, okay, so you're saying that's <laughs> always the case? You're saying only if you're an a you get ghosted? No. Uh, no, I'm saying the one ghosting is also an a What yeah. does Addy mean? Addict? Addy. Mm -hmm. Address. Address. Send me to Addy. Addy. Yeah. Okay. I always sing, send that song. Send me your location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Shout out Khaled. This is the last one. It's a hard one. What is a clout chaser? <laughs> a clout chaser? Is it like somebody who who's a bully? So no. clout mm -hmm. is essentially fame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anybody so who does things coattails. to just chase just, that, mm. you're a clout chaser. That ends mm. our, uh, nice. our OK Boomer segment. You've done really well. Thank if you. you would like to give some advice to the to the youth of the nation, using some of the words you've learned here today, what would it be? Don't be a cloud chaser. <laughs> be a cloud chaser. Wow. Find out where the clouds are going, because that's the future. Hold up. Yo. Your parents were hippies, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nailed it, nailed it. Sounds Everybody like advice they would give. This, but what truly changed from once you became a mother, what sort of epiphanies well, I had a child. realizations <laughs> you have. Wow. Becoming a mother is uh, 
It's many things. One is it's a huge lesson in psychology. It's all Harrison Butker things. You really see be. in minute detail <laughs> how to handle a human being. How like you know Not shutting down, down, like using words like no, don't shake and, them, like shut down someone's emotions. Or what do you do with an emotion like anger when we've been mostly taught to like keep it away? Correct. And you know it's just like a really revealing lesson in psychology. Um, which then leads to you going right back to your childhood and figuring out why am I like this? And mm. oh my God, these are all the things I grew up with. And understanding which of that is important, which of it you want to not have in your life. So it's, it's, it's kind of almost like reliving your own life and your own childhood. So yeah. everything you've achieved goes away. And that's why we usually have postpartum depression and we're just mm. like lost. But because of that, you also refine yourself in a new perspective because you can't go back to who you were before. You're never going to have the freedoms. You're never going to have the times that everything else, has, everything has rescheduled and rechanged. So who are you in that? And it, it's, 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 it's exciting. I don't know if you have kids, if you're going to have kids. Is it, you're a bit Do you young. think I have kids, Kalki? No, but if, okay. you never know. Teenage pregnancies are a thing. Sometimes people become fathers super young. Yeah. Uh, it's true. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, you struggle up and down. I yeah. think sometimes I feel like I'm still in postpartum four years down the line, you mm. know? Oof. I think my mother is still in postpartum. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the, the, that really first few months is extremely trying and you mm. do need all the help you can get going forward if you had advice to the parents watching uh, what would that be see i'm not like a really woke woke parent who's like you can let your kid do whatever they want and be like a monster because that's what's happening a lot now with parents mm. i'm kind of in between yeah i think discipline and boundary making is very important but i would just say never lose the sense of like play and curiosity because it's when you're playing really playing with your child that you find out the most serious stuff about them mm -hmm. like okay. you'll be playing puppets together and suddenly they'll mention their, their vagina mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you can ask them how was That's your true. day why are you sad why are you crying who's bullying you they're never going to tell you what's really going on mm -hmm. but when you play and you interact with whatever level they're at you know whether that's a video game or playing with puppets or whatever then the, the truth comes out of what they're really feeling. We do a lot of role playing. I have to okay. be Cinderella's evil <laughs> mother. Uh, what is it like a stepmother? Yeah. I don't like to call it stepmother because I think that's so like mm. cliche. So I call her the uh, evil aunt. So she casted you <laughs> for that role? Yeah. Evil aunt. Yeah. Evil. yeah. <laughs> but I'm also the prince. Okay, okay. I'm also the prince. There's multiple roles. Multiple roles. Gotcha. She, of course, is the star always. Of course. She's mm -hmm. Cinderella. Um, yeah, so Leland we do Yisha all the characters Chewbacca. of fairy tales, nice. we, we enact them, but then like we change them. Like for example, in Snow White, um, I've shown her how the Heimlich maneuver works. Oh. Because the, the, we've said that Snow White chokes on the piece of apple. And, uh, Is that part of the story? Does she actually? Yeah, yeah, like oh. she, it's a poisoned apple. So she bites okay. into the apple and like die, like hmm. falls over. But we've said she chokes on the apple mm. and the guy is not a prince, but a doctor. <laughs> and he like does the Heimlich maneuver and yeah. he saves her life. Okay. Instead of Shouldn't kissing just... her dead body, which is so <laughs> creepy. It's true. Yeah, we Actually, kind of, no, like, it's, it's quite nice. You never kiss a dead body. Uh, sure. No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Except for your mother. Like, it's very cooling. It's I, similar I, I, to a dead body. Yeah. Of, or are you trying to like... Doesn't now, move a lot. thank God, we hardly have to worry about iPad time because we're here. And there's just so much. Yeah, why well, you, you don't need an iPad when you got Go outside? Cycles. So TV time she usually gets between like five and six in the evening. Succession. But nowadays she doesn't even. Sometimes she doesn't even ask for it. Thrones. Oh, wow. It's great. Breaking yeah. Bad. That's what great for toddlers. I agree. Screen time. Time. My screen time oh, is after euphoria. I go to bed. Yeah, that's okay. like post. Great eight, for the kids. Post eight thirty at night. Okay. So gotcha. yeah, because that's the time we get like as, as a couple as well. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I have uh, an indulgence, like a unhealthy indulgence for serial killer shows and stalker shows. Yes! I, I think see. because I end up watching so much of this, like, child stuff <laughs> that I need to counter it. <laughs> yeah, it might be true. Totally yeah. get it. Yeah. Might be yeah. true. And are you on reels? Are you, like, scrolling? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a problem. Mm. That's a pro so now what I've started doing is at night I keep my phone away. I keep okay. it in a different room. So the best. And I also don't have it next to my bed in the mornings. Wow. So until after breakfast, I don't check my phone. 
But how did you develop Nothing. that detachment to be able to just put the phone away and go to I, sleep? It's hard. Yeah. I, it became a discipline, like a boundary setting, like, mm. like I have for my kid, you know, right. I have to be like, no, this is not happening. Okay, so back to our table tennis match that we mm. started. Mm. I feel like it is time for score us. score is 3-2. That's not how I remember it. No, it's 3-2. <laughs> I'll take your word for yeah. it. Okay. So it's 3-2. Yes, sir. And uh, we're playing with seven. Do you like table tennis, pool, All right, or guys. air hockey better? Table tennis. Brute. Air hockey for me. I love oh, hockey. yeah? I like air hockey. It would actually be I like air hockey, show. pool, and I like pool. table tennis. I like pool, but of those, Damn it! the one I'd be most likely to have oh, at home would be different. table tennis. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Please just let me walk out of there. Get out of here. On that point. She's our dosed. Corky Caitlin. I like calling her Corky Caitlin. I'm going to call her that from now on. All right, good. Corky Caitlin. She's wonderful. She's such a, a, a well-spoken person. Um, do you, you Have you read her book? No. Have you? No, Steph. Oh, she did? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's about mothering. Oh, yeah. Um, and so she was very interested in it. Mm. Um, and she she read it before we interviewed her, so I got to... <laughs> I didn't read it. Um, I got to pick her brain a little bit, though, but she's a much... Faster and better readers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like me. I mean, you you and I read about it, I think, at the same speed. No, you still are her on Harry Potter. So. <laughs> no, I finished it. You finished the series? Yeah, I finished just it. Just book five. No, 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 no. I, I finally finished it. You were on book no, five for but like I'm, 10 years. Uh, the book I'm reading now, I knew it was going to take this long because it's it's the Covenant of Water and it's a long book. Is, it the, is that the Indian one? Yeah, the one that takes place in, it's in Kerala. Kerala, yeah. Kerala, right? And, and I... The, Part of it is not just because of the slow reading. Part of it is because when I was working on Dinner with Friends, I had to focus on line memorization on the show. So I really didn't have much brain space left to be reading a book. So, but it, it typically, like I, when I read Nelson Mandela's book, which is almost 800 pages long, it took me 12 months. Well, do you typically gravitate towards like either fictional stories or like people you like books it depends i go through seasons sometimes i go through like a help a self-help season of, of personal development then i like to read biographies or autobiographies mm -hmm. then i'll i'll read something that's in the fiction or it's I've been a long time i've been wanting to read another stephen king book i read a lot of stephen king 40 years ago uh but the one genre i don't like to read pretty much ever is like just pure fiction like unless it's science fiction or fantasy but just romance novels or a, a spy novel mm. they don't interest me what about you I mean, it's usually um fiction like actual stories non-fiction sorry yeah yeah, yeah. Sorry, the yeah. real stories yeah i'm the same way i prefer to read things that i know have some basis in reality uh no unless no, it's no, no, pure no. fantasy that's what i'm talking about I, I like the pure fantasy um the world's harry potter's of the world yeah game of thrones I you read, read the game of thrones the, I read ice the books, game of thrones right? books um the, the ones that are out um my wife loves um narnia no um sci-fi fantasy uh that's her favorite anything to do with dragons there's a there's a series that she loves. It's what is it? Um, it just came out. Uh, Iron Flame, I think, is the series. Sounds like a wrestler. Um, she loves that. I'm currently reading Red Rising. Of uh, course you are. It's a fantasy uh, style book. If you're into like uh, sci-fi, the biggest sci-fi uh, author is actually Brendan Sanderson. I think his name is. Yeah. He. He has a billion books like Stephen King. Yeah. He's um, just like, can't yeah, he stop has, like, spitting them out. Sci-fi fantasy series that are like 10 books long. Wow. Um, and he's he's like everybody's favorite uh, sci-fi fantasy author guy. Um, but yeah, yeah, she read uh, Kalki Kaiklin's book and she really, really enjoyed it. Um, I would like to live in Goa, I think. Live there? I I know, she... Uh... I, I, just the outside of it looks incredible. I like to visit there. I don't know whether I'd like to live live in Goa. Why you've never been to Goa? Well, but what I know of it is it's very resorty, tropically beachy. Well, that's spread that, out. That's probably the the tourist part. Yeah. I mean, it's a big. It's a it's a not a, a huge state, but it's yeah. a decent sized state. I like to visit those places. I, pre I like. I'm like Indrani. I prefer living in metros. Gross. Yeah, metropolitan the city, city places. Absolutely disgusting. And go to the coast. Go to the beaches. No. 
Yeah. Take me away from people as, as far as you can. And you'd, you'd like the mountains, though. Oh, I'd yeah. love the mountains that, like the Pacific Northwest, that go into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, like I told you, in South Africa, there's the resort that you look out one window and there's this giant mountain behind you. Yeah. And you look out the other window and there's the beach. Exactly. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, she's... I mean, <laughs> next time we go to India, we'll be... Hey, Fafa. we're just gonna go up to hey, her house. Fafa. Can, can we come to your house and play table tennis? <laughs> we're gonna film it too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. Obviously, we should just do that. Just go to people's houses without permission. Just show up, see what happens. <laughs> In India, man, they might they might be cool with it. <laughs> you go to people's houses. You can uh, ask these professional singers to just sing on demand. Yeah, exactly. We should have asked the security scene to just start playing for us. Yeah. Or uh, could you imagine? Hey, Prabhu, get up and do a dance. People do it, man. They, I know. They, I, just, I could not. I couldn't. No. Because that's... <laughs> you would never do that to, like, <clears throat> if you're interviewing Celine Dion. Hey, Celine Dion, sing for us. She'd do it. Sing, monkey, sing. She'd do it. But, yeah. I know it's different in India, obviously, but <laughs> just... <laughs> It's such a foreign country. Interview, it's, interview. Actually, it's actually almost in, like uh, bad etiquette. Interview. Yeah, it really is. Uh, you're interviewing Tom Cruise. Hey, get up and do a stunt. Yeah, or like making them say a famous dialogue of yeah, theirs. Yeah, yeah. Which I know is something in India that, that people... Um, hey, Shah Rukh Khan, say your famous dialogue. It's almost Chris Farley. Yeah. We with Schwarzenegger. You say that, say that thing about the choppa. <laughs> I guess we did it to Nawaz, right? <laughs> we actually did. <laughs> Kind of. We kind of did. But just, that was different. I just wanted to call me a mother. It wasn't, yeah. It's because you personally wanted to hear him call you that. It wasn't because you needed <laughs> him to quote a line. Uh, that was I great. wanted him to quote that line. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, let us know. Uh, we, uh, does she have any other films that we need to... Uh... I'm sure she does, right? Yeah, she must. It's been a while. I mean, we had a, we had a string it? in 2019 right at the get-go of the channel from Gully Boy on. It was, it was Gully Boy, and then it was we, we, we saw Margarita with a straw really early. Um, she, uh, I think took a break after, um, I think she did when she was having her, her baby, when she was having her baby. Yeah. It took at least a year off. I think, uh, Zindagi, Deborah, um, right. That's another one from 2019. Deborah, tiny little voices. Oh, she was in, uh, the Sam duck. Um, oh, the one we wanted to see. Uh, what's his face? Yeah. Um, Sam Bahadur with Vicky Koshal. Uh, oh, I remember that film too. Ko Wait. Gaia Home. But she had, there's not a lot on there. So look at, from Gully Boy on, there's not a lot. But Made in Heaven, obviously, was right. on there. Right, for sure. Sacred and Sacred Games. Games. But I think she took a break for a while. I think she's back in it now, though, it looks like. Yeah. Um, well, she's got something that already wrapped. And she's filming something. So, yeah, she's back at it. She's back at it. It's great. Good. Four, four-year-olds great don't actress. need mothers anymore. Huh? Four-year-olds don't need moms anymore. No. Um, no. They're basically adults. Pretty much. Brain me. development, I have a emotional development. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they should Le be driving. Leland didn't have eight breakdowns yesterday because we forgot his Darth Vader cup in uh, his uh, grandpa's car. Well, who, does, <laughs> who doesn't who does do that? Who doesn't have a breakdown if they don't have their Darth Vader cup? I agree. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what the next Kulky Caitlin film should be. Or Corky Caitlin. Or Coffee Caitlin. If she was a dog, she'd be Corgi. Corgi Caitlin. Yes. Or a Wedding Caitlin. <laughs> we should do a game where we figure out what each um, Bollywood celebrity is as a dog. <laughs> she, oh. She'd be Corgi Caitlin. Corgi Caitlin. <laughs> Just because of the name, not because she resembles a Corgi. Shah Khan is a golden retriever. Okay. You think? No? I think he's a golden retriever. No, oh, I think he's a sexier dog than that. Yeah, those are like the sexiest dogs out there. Golden retrievers? Have you ever seen a golden retriever? Yeah, have you ever seen a Rottweiler or a Doberman Pinscher or a German Shepherd? He's not angry enough to look like a Doberman. I'm just saying. I'm I'm saying looks and personality-wise, I think he's a golden retriever. I think Anyways, he's... Let's uh, the next Coca-Cola. <laughs> should be double. Just